guys, I'm Kiana, and if you're new to this channel, welcome to my channel. If you've been subscribed, welcome back to my channel. I'm very glad you guys found your way here because today I'm giving you guys 10 tips and tricks on how to stay focused while you read. Before I begin, I just want to take this moment to acknowledge and say thank you to all of my new subscribers and to all of my loyal subscribers who've been rocking with me since day one. I'm so glad that you guys have decided to continue on this journey with me. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, stop what you're doing right now and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section down below. I'm really excited for this video and I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it because I had so much fun making this video. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. My first tip and or trick is to annotate what you are reading. I find that annotating really makes what I'm reading more fun. It keeps me engaged with what I'm reading. Now, if you feel uncomfortable annotating, that is totally valid. I remember I went through a long period of time where I didn't want to annotate, and I think that that was due to my English teachers forbidding annotating in books, and also because I'm purchasing these books with my own money, so I kind of feel like it's destroying my own property. But when it really comes down to it, I have to remember that these are my own books. And the keyword here is own. I own them, so I'm free to do whatever I choose with these books. I would also have the thought of what if I want to give these books away one day or sell them or what if somebody reads what I annotate. And I mean, like I said, these are all really valid thoughts to have, but I just find that it helps with my overall reading experience because it helps make what I'm reading more enjoyable to know that I have a place saver for memorable moments or to know that I'm retaining what I'm reading it has real sentimental value to it and because it reminds me of how much I was actually into the book but if you guys are borrowing the book from a friend or family from the library and there's absolutely no way that you can annotate the book or if you are just uncomfortable flat out with annotating then my next tip is definitely a solution for that my second tip is to carry a journal with you alongside your current read to take notes in while you read which can go hand in hand with annotating just in a different way if you are citing your book and the context in your journal instead of your book this tip allows you to take the same notes that you would take if you were to be annotating but it leaves your books nice and clean and allows you to not completely dog ear your books but still remind you of all of the personal thoughts that you had on the book. From the beginning of time I have always loved to carry a journal with me for my books because I love going back to those notes that I've taken and reminiscing on them. It reminds me of how great the book was and then it makes me want to go out and buy more books and read more books and then take more notes and inevitably buy more journals you know. So it just has that butterfly effect that keeps the momentum going. My favorite journal to carry with me at the moment is this one right here. I really liked this one when I seen it because it was so different from what I'm used to. I normally go for things that are pink because I just feel like it's safe because I'm a girl. So you really want to choose a journal that matches your personality. I think that that's really important. And I really like this one because it has this gold flex in it. This was perfect. It was $7 at CVS which is a seal and it's 160 pages so this book will definitely last me for a very long time depending on how I use it and how in-depth my notes are but yes tip number two is to carry a journal with you alongside your current read my third tip is to devote at least 30 minutes per day to reading my theory behind that is that if you have already planned to read for at least 30 minutes each day then you're more than likely prone to pick up a book for 30 minutes each day day thus obviously putting you ahead on your reading goal of finishing the book and it can be any 30 minutes within the day I know that I normally like to read on my lunch break for 30 minutes but if you have time in between your classes or whatever you're doing just make sure you allot that time for your reading it doesn't matter which 30 minutes in the day that you choose as long as you designate at least 30 minutes per day to your reading 
And if you want to up the ante, shoot for an hour, um, give or take. It doesn't matter if you read for an hour. Just make sure you are reading for at least 30 minutes. The fourth tip is to set a goal of how many chapters you want to read per day. This tip kind of enforces my third tip, but it also can overrule it if it takes you longer or less than 30 minutes to read the amount of chapters that you have set out to read in a given day. Then you must read that amount of chapters. But if you cannot reach that goal of said chapters that you have set out to read in a given day, then at least you would have read for at least 30 minutes per day, thus still putting you ahead on your reading schedule. My tip is to say it out loud in the beginning of the day, I'm going to read this many chapters today, speak it into existence, write it down, however it works best for you so that you are setting the tone for your reading day. My fifth tip is put your phone down. And I know that this sounds cliche at this point because we hear it all the time, but yes, Put your phone away. It's not going anywhere. Social media will still be there when you pick your phone back up. And that boy will still give you a call even if you don't text him back right away. And if he doesn't, then so be it. Your reading time is way more important than some boy. I'm not. I'm totally kidding. That was such a misandristic thing to say. And I don't even know if that's even a word. But yes, tip number five is to put your phone down. My sixth tip is to find quiet time in a quiet area or space to read. This tip is really important because yes although I'm really good at tuning out sounds and people it can be really frustrating when you're trying to read and someone is constantly coming up to you distracting you from whatever you're reading I know I get really hot when that happens sometimes so finding a nice quiet area to fully immerse yourself in what you're reading is really important for your overall reading experience grab you some snacks put on some tea or some coffee and if you're over the age of 21 grab some wine pour up some wine I know my personal favorite is tea but I do also like to partake in wine every now and then also timing does play a role in this tip as well so if it is too noisy or if you're too busy it's probably not the best time that you should be trying to read this tip also ties into tip number three which is to read for at least 30 minutes per day because the timing has to work for you and ultimately your lifestyle I know I wish that I could read all day every day without any distractions or anything like that but that's just not practical or realistic so it's best to be reasonable and rational about these two tips. Seventh tip is to don't be afraid to DNF any book. This one isn't my personal favorite because I have OCD so when I start reading a book it's really hard for me to just stop reading it if I haven't finished it already but it can be really liberating to have given a book an honest and fair try and if you still genuinely don't like it then it's okay to not read the book like I encourage you not to finish it because it's such a huge time saver and thus helping you to get to more of the better books for your TBR pile because YOLO you don't want to be stuck reading some lousy book that you're dreading when there are plenty of other books for you to indulge in so yes Tip number seven is to DNF that book. Tip number eight is to take your time. I personally really like to pay attention to detail. I find that I learn and retain more about what I'm reading that way. So if I'm stumbling over words or paragraphs, I usually always go back to reread it because I can't move on unless I understand what's happening. So if you read at a steady pace, this will make your reading more keen and more sharp, thus helping you to understand what's going on in the book. Don't be afraid to go back and reread if you need to because you don't want to miss something important from the plot if you're reading, which is usually the case. Also, I recommend that you read over the synopsis and skim through the book just so you have a better idea of what you're getting yourself into before you begin reading the book. My ninth tip is to don't overwhelm yourself with a huge TBR pile. This tip works very well for me because I like to live stress free and the less pressure I put on myself the better especially when it comes to reading and creating my TBR pile. I like to create my TBR pile based on the pace in which I read so if I know that I can read a certain amount of books within a certain amount of time I will create my TBR pile accordingly but I refuse to overwhelm myself with a huge TBR pile if I know that I'm not going to be able to finish the amount of books that I have set out in the allotted time frame because then I'd just be setting an unrealistic goal that would throw off my concentration because I would just be trying to get to the next
next book which isn't really a healthy way to be reading of course make your reading goals as challenging as you want them to be by all means but allow yourself some leeway and leverage in case you don't finish a book because let's face it and some of you guys are probably not going to like me for saying this but reading is not everything and you want to be able to bounce back from not reading a book as scheduled because then you don't want to rush through it and then miss the whole reading experience so I would advise you to create a realistic TBR pile. I like to read books back to back so like once I'm finished reading one book I will move on to the next one immediately and this helps with my concentration because I know that there's always at least one book that I have to read but don't be too hard on yourself if you don't get to all the books on your TBR pile as scheduled that's just life it's okay and you can always catch up eventually it happens to the best of us to be honest so my advice is don't psych yourself out by creating an overwhelming TBR pile tip number 10 is to visualize what you're reading this tip will increase your engagement to the book by using your imagination as if you are per se watching the book as if it were a movie and this tip will increase your imagination as well as give you a clearer picture of the book so you can visualize better what you are reading and ultimately this will help you focus more on what you are reading those are all of the 10 tips and tricks that will help you guys focus more while you read i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up so that you guys can get more videos from me on your feed and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel follow my social media pages on instagram and twitter at princess kiana and my personal blog at reading out loud book club once again thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time i'll talk to you guys soon bye